spend your whole life thinking you're a giant. And one day that fella shows up at your fortress. I'll handle this. in my keep. Make ready to be crushed, vermin of Aethos! Nay, I am to fight, and you are to die. You will find no mercy in my flames. You need something. Your story ends here. Ah! This does not work! Something I can do? Feel it. Not reason with the gigantic flaming marauders. Yours to command, Captain. Your story ends here. Something I can do. Wrong. 
Show me. Watch my hands. First, something with a bit more stabbing. Leave it to me. You need something. I 
see your plan. for too long, yet only she is fit to fire the shrine. Go and ensure that she returns readily with the ancient. It would be my honor, Bathor. Return in victory, Rekir. Yes, Bathor. And remember, you are a bold one to attack us in our own seat of power. I hope you are prepared to die here, for I will soon prostrate you on the altar of Margaret and burn you for her glory. You kill my brethren, champions of Margaret, and have the courage to test my anger. Given the circumstance, I will hear your reason for being here. But my patience burns quickly. What is your relation to Aethus if not to act with him against Margaret? Deception and darkness are the foes of fire, and of the truth in its light. At your service. Need something. Something I can do.
Water. The time does not allow for niceties. Even now, Aethys gains strength from the Spire. What progress have you to report? Make haste, should you wish to distract our enemy during my preparation for war. Though now, maybe a revised directive would be wise. Presently, I shall erupt this volcano, and with it, consume Aethys. I suggest you retreat if you at all value your mortal form. I can give you only the moments more it takes me to fully fire the depths of this maw. After that, I will not stay the assault. Even for you. Fare thee on, Watcher. My condolences, should you die. your service. I will swallow you whole! Yeah?
really can't do that. I'll take care of this. This will impress some ladies. Tap him on the shoulder? I don't want to startle him. Watcher, I wasn't sure you'd make it. But there is enough of you in me to grasp that you had a better chance than most. Some would say it's because you have a strong soul. Great deeds come easily to one so spiritually blessed. Or have you become great because of what has been thrust upon you, Watcher of Cadnua? Her Even after all these years, countless generations, we don't know either. The brightest souls can burn out in an instant, and even a pathetic, feeble spark can grow brilliant in time. But you have come a great distance for answers. What would you ask of me, Watcher? No. Not now. Not in your lifetime. Perhaps in one hundred generations, the books and tongues of Kith will forget the name Aethys. A penance paid in full, noted by none. That would be my absolution. You're just gonna wait for us to forget what you did? That's your penance? How about you start by giving back the souls you took? Or maybe by apologizing to every one of your followers, especially the ones that died for you. You owe this Watcher here. You owe my brother Woden, and every last one of us that ever followed you. And you owe me. I never asked you for much, but you owe me better than what you're given. I cannot atone for my mistakes with words alone, Adair. I know this now. It is why I began this journey and why I must move on. But you have come here for other answers. Why I have returned. Where I am going. 
And it would seem even she whose presence shakes the heart of this mountain needs to know. Margrin fears what I will do. Just as she feared what I would do in the Deerwood. But this time, there is no power on Aora or in all of Hell to stop me. Understand that what I'm saying is neither a boast nor a challenge. It is the clearest statement of truth I can give you. Give Bereth in the hopes of dissuading you from taking actions that may harm others. No, you won't. I made mistakes last time that I have not repeated. I will not be corrupted from my course, and neither Magrin's fire nor Andra's beloved moon can harm this body. Like the Adra that guides souls from the here to the beyond, this form was created to survive the trials of thousands of generations. I am going to force gods and mortals alike to open their eyes to one another. And all the powers of hell cannot drive me from this course. It seems my sister does not like the sound of that. A fair request. I suppose your time is more limited than mine. I want to return the gods to our original purpose, and to allow mortals to worship us, or ignore us, for what we are, not what we pretend to be. What's that mean? You're gonna tell them the truth? When I entered Widwin, I did so with the intention of illuminating the history of Angwith. I wanted to show all the nations of the Eastern Reach the machines we had used to create ourselves. How we had hidden our true nature from mortals for millennia. But even if I had succeeded, my words would have been easy to deny. But some minds can never let go of that foundation. They would rather hold tight to the world in their mind than accept what they're being told. It is what we have tasked them with for thousands of years. Even their clumsiest attempts to cloud the truth can be easily accepted by those who want desperately to believe it. And so have the gods, with their help, maintained this illusion for hundreds of generations. But even a beautiful illusion is still a lie, obfuscating reality even as it points to a transcendent truth. The time has come for a new covenant between gods and mortals. One forged in the light of truth and understanding between our kind. I will leave this place and go to the lost city the Huana call Ukaizo. It is there that all souls pass through the machines of the gods. Where all souls pass into the beyond before beginning their next life. that place. I will find our great machines and tear them to pieces. I will smash the great wheel until the lights of hell all gutter and die. And when my work is done, I will leave this world forever. Where does that leave us? You're ending the rule of the gods? No, Adair. It is not for me to decide if the gods should remain in power. That will be for your kind, for mortals to decide. An understandable response. Still, I'm surprised Margrin is reacting this way. I would have thought she would appreciate a trial of this magnitude. One that tests us all. Both gods and mortals alike rely on the wheel. We depend on it for the souls that give us power. Mortals depend on it for the lives of future generations. Breaking it will force all of us to face the truth. We will fail together or move forward together. Either ending is preferable to the cycle we still find ourselves in. Once again, the gods have put you in a precarious position, Watcher. Considering all the troubles I have put you through, the least I can do is protect you from the wrath Magrin has intended for me. Don't thank me yet. This will be particularly difficult for you, Watcher. You better be sure of what you're doing, Aethys. You better be making things right. 
Because either way, we're the ones paying the cost. All that I have done, I have done for your sake. If we do not meet again, Adair, please take care of the Watcher. Aethys's great hand floats away from the luminous Audra pillar. As it pulls back, for a brief moment you see a golden tether flash into existence between the pillar and the great titan's back. When the Audra fingers gently cradle you, there is first a sensation of warmth, but it is followed by a harsh splitting of consciousness. Your awareness vacillates erratically between the physical world and the spiritual dimension of Aethys' body.